while speaking about the uh, allergy, uh, we should understand. I, I don't know how uh, well prepared the audience was uh, about the today's topic, but uh, the first couple of slides I want to devote to uh, speaking about the uh, allergen uh, by themselves. And uh, in accordance with the modern knowledge, uh, there are uh, 11 uh, mean key families of allergens. And if you pay attention, uh, eight of them uh, belong to the plants. A green color represents families which are come to us from the plants, uh, which uh, um, as seen in the plants. Why plants are so allergenic? This is another story, and this is another my lecture, and I'm, give, if, I'm giving it for another eager audience, if you like, uh, once we can speak about that as well, about these specific properties. But uh, among these families, there are uh, prolamines, EF hands, profiline like very important family and we will speak about this today tropomycin like cupin b21 like a uh, very important family calcin double psi beta barrel and so on and you can see the sources there can be either in fruits in plants in their um, seeds and in the uh, pollen and uh, usually allergens are also of uh, protein nature uh, some allergens cannot have uh, proteins uh, as a, um, but this is a rather exception. Uh, some uh, bodies which are not proteins also can promote IgE response of our immune system, but 90 plus 8% uh, are proteins, and these proteins have their own shape. <laughs> And uh, this, that proteins that perform similar function in different plants also have similar structure. And therefore, if they cause allergies, they then have a cross reactivity because our immune system reacts to some epitopes and these epitopes can be the same or similar in uh, allergens of this family, but uh, which um, comes from different sources. Hope you know that, but still I don't know which audience come and that's why we need such uh, introduction. And here you have an uh, example how uh, cross-reactivity can be uh, expressed. For example, uh, if we speak about seeds and about uh, uh, allergens and proteins which are hidden, uh, which are common for the seeds, they are storage proteins, for example, like 2S albumins. And key representative is uh, uh, Arachis uh, hypohyaea allergen 2, uh, they have limited cross reactions uh, be, uh, between different 2S albumins because uh, of the structure of these proteins is not very much similar. Uh, the same uh, more or less uh, coincide, but this is moderately limited uh, variability shown uh, in the group of BTV1 allergens. While if we are going to profilins, if we check profilins, they have high, this is example of high degree of cross reactivity illustrated by overlapping cycles between highly um, conserved structure and epitopic like profilins. And uh, these profilins need specific attention. Uh, they uh, are present in every um, uh, eukaryotic organisms uh, and in plants they uh, are highly conserved proteins showing a sequence identities of at least 75 percent even between members from distantly related organisms so just now we saw picture and we see that profilins are really uh, very much identical and they have very high cross reactivity in the view of the high sequence homology cross reactivity between profilins is extremely common and involves virtually every plant source. Thus, profilin can be considered the archetypal pan allergen. And you see here, this is our ambrosia, this is melon, tomato, peach, uh, nuts, uh, uh, celery, uh, this is the tree pollen and grass pollen, and these all are sources of profilins. And over the last three decades, an association between sensitivity to diverse pollens and sensitivity to diverse plant food have been described. An association between ragweed polynosis and hypersensitivity to cucurbitaceae food like watermelon, melon, cucumber, and banana has been reported. 
An association between grass polynosis and sensitization to tomato, potato, green pea, as we saw, also is reported. And birch also has a very high cross reactivity with plants of Rosacea family. And uh, there are uh, couple of uh, families uh, of um, which are responsible for cross reaction between pollen and food allergens and these three families as uh, now just now we saw in the previous picture here uh, this is also bet we um, one allergens uh, these are profilins and these are mugwort uh, which uh, can represent either profilin or uh, nlstp uh, lipid transfer proteins they are three um, key families which are responsible for cross reactions between uh, pollen and food allergens. And if we speak about PR10 proteins, this is mostly tree pollen, uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, legumes uh, responsible for this cross reactivity. But profilins, but ambrosia, which we are speaking today, and we are um, all are interested in ambrosia as we are members of International Ragged Society, ambrosia is involved into the um, uh, pollen food syndrome uh, caused first of fall by profilins. Uh, here uh, for this syndrome also responsible tree pollen uh, and uh, vegetables, fruits and seed, namely especially watermelons, uh, banana, uh, seeds of um, mustard and so on, uh, um, peach and other uh, fruits and vegetables. And uh, this another family um, of proteins which also can cause this cross reactivity is lipid transfer proteins and ambrosia A6, uh, which can be found in tree and um, in, in wheat pollen in ambrosia pollen here, and also in vegetables, fruits, and seeds uh, can be found this lipid transfer proteins, but uh, they have different uh, mode of causing the allergenicity, and we will discuss them today. Also, another association, uh, ragweed melon banana, which is uh, really well visible, uh, also uh, Ambrosia is responsible for, and candidates uh, of causing this association, again, are profilins of Ambrosia 8, uh, Ambrosia 8A8 and Ambrosia A6 LTP possibly also can cause this ragweed melon banana association. However, LTPs are more common uh, for mugwort, mugwort chamomilla, mugwort mustard, mugwort peach, mugwort uh, celery, and uh, we also will speak about that. But first of all, why uh, ambrosia is able, ambrosia pollen is able to cause all of these uh, cross reactions uh, and allergenicity? Because it has 12 uh, different classes of allergens, 12 defined allergens, many of which are cross reactive with uh, other pollen and foods. Uh, for example, we are just uh, paying attention on pectate leas, major ambrosia allergen. And uh, this usually do not involve it in the pollen food syndrome, but uh, also important one, which causes around 97% of patients sensitivity to ragweed pollen. Another uh, important al al allergen is uh, defensin-like protein, which is responsible to cross reactions of mugwort pollen. A heat and digestive resistant NLS LTP protein is uh, Ambrosia A6. And again, this is responsible for uh, pollen fruit syndrome mug and also to cross reactivity to mugwort. And the last one, already known by us, profilin, which causes cross sensitivity to mugwort pollen and pollen fruit syndrome, namely with melon, watermelon, cucumbers, uh, pumpkins, and zucchini. And profilins, except of um, ragweed, can be found in mugwort, as you already have seen, also in pumpkin pumpkin family in uh, uh, seeds of sunflower. This is other portions of uh, aster family and no surprise if profilins are present namely everywhere uh, in the world in different in, in the um, uh, different plant sources. So uh, it's no surprise that can uh, that they can be found in a wide range of either pollen or food products. And I just uh, emphasize that these three 
parts of the table, but you see that also uh, birch uh, and oak pollen have these uh, allergens, grass family pollen have these allergens, dead nettle, olive family, cypressaceae family, goosefoot family, euphorbiaceae, aricaceae, pollens have these allergens, and here you can see fruits. Again, uh, in hazelnut, uh, we can find these allergens in kiwi, in celery, pea. So uh, generally, profilins, this is a group uh, of allergens which we can find literally everywhere, and including ambrosia and including some different uh, uh, food. What is more, as profilins are found everywhere in different plant sources, they also found in latex because latex also comes from plants and uh, profilins are responsible for so-called latex fruit syndrome. But uh, while uh, natural latex is replaced uh, actively by other uh, products, by artificial fake uh, latex products, so this syndrome uh, cannot be uh, very much different. And uh, profilin sensitization is usually caused by primary major allergenic pollen source, which is sensitizer. In most cases, grass pollen is responsible pro, uh, for profilin hypersensitivity. And in our, in Ukraine, we have data for 20,000 of allergy patients. And uh, uh, from them, uh, approximately 30% are sensitive for, gra for grasses, and uh, monosensitization to profilin holds the second position. So this is really important, uh, really important sensitization to profilins, which comes uh, from grasses, but also birch and ragweed pollen also can cause this primary sensitization to um, profilins together with mugwort pollen. And uh, clinical relevance uh, in this case, up to 50% of pollen allergic patients can be sensitized to profilin. Sensitization virtually always follows primary sensitization to specific pollen source, as we say. And uh, they have positive uh, screen prick tests and also um, um, clinical uh, relevance uh, important because most sensitized patients reported symptoms only in the specific seasons of the primary sensitizing pollen source. So, uh, and this is what is observed, and this is what uh, our doctors, I don't know how it is in your countries, but I'm sure if you speak with, with doctors uh, and if you have ambrosia in your countries, you have the same problem. But in Ukraine, this is really a problem because during the ambrosia pollen season, and it lasts from the beginning of August until the almost the end of October, but mostly in August and at the beginning of September, when the levels of ambrosia is high, we have a lot of complaints of people who uh, have uh, problems uh, while eating melons and watermelons. And especially when pollen and fruit season coincide, uh, especially when a uh, pollen of ambrosia, this is season of ambrosia, common um, time. And on the other hand, people are eating melons and uh, watermelons because this is also time of their fruiting, of their harvest. So unfortunately, uh, these two events can sign in time. And many people now we will see that person who are sensitive to ambrosia also have symptoms, uh, especially first of all, oral allergy syndrome, but also profilins can cause digestive system problems like vomiting, nausea, in uh, cases when people are very much sensitized. And that's why in our pollen forecast, we are writing, we are paying special attention, and we are saying that people should, who are uh, very much allergic to uh, ambrosia, better should avoid eating a lot of melons and watermelons at that same period when there are high pollen levels are uh, seen. And uh, this uh, clinical data is supported by uh, scientific data, biological data that watermelon, for example, has the key allergen of watermelon is profiline. Uh, and the key allergen, uh, one of the key allergens of melon is also profiline. It's a Trullus lanatus second and uh, Cucumis mellow second allergens, both are profilins. And they are responsible for cross reactivity to ragweed, mugwort, grasses, and other members of the Cucurbitaceae family. And so, no surprise.
A between um, water mole melon and rugby have been proposed as having similar allergens. This is what we just have seen. Between 28 and 50 percent of 120 patients whose sera contained specific AGA to ragweed also had specific AGA to one or more members of the gourd family, the cucurbitaceae family, uh, which include watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, melon, zucchini, and cucumber. This data I took from Thermo Fisher um, educational platform. And this data is our own data, Ukrainian data. We have data, as I told you, of 20,000 of patients in Ukraine. And 8% of them were cost sensitive to the ragweed extract, which could include profilins because there are a couple of molecules which do not pertain to profilin family and extract. So I checked what is the cost sensitization of cucumis mellow and uh, uh, ragweed extract. And we have eight and something uh, percent of uh, people who have sensitization to both of this uh, pollen and food. And uh, clinically, at least 50 of them uh, should have food allergy. And usually this allergy is characterized not only reaction to melon, uh, if uh, people uh, are sensitized to profilins, so they can react to wide range of other products as profilins are almost everywhere. And uh, this is very much difficult to doctor to uh, make a special diet, which will exclude many uh, profilin um, containing food and um, uh, still be a healthy diet. So this is really a big problem because these people not usually uh, react to melon, but also to other products. Uh, if these products are listed on my slide, like raw tomato, watermelon, citrus fruits, uh, also, but patients can tolerate processed food, but again, doctors say that this is not always, and the problem in case of ragweed and melon, uh, because usually melon and watermelon are not eaten processed, we usually consume uh, raw melons and watermelons and do not process them. And spectrum of offending plant food is sometimes very large. This is what I told you. Uh, this is also our data uh, taken from Alex one from the pre previous version of the Alex, which did not contain uh, cucumis mellow separate molecule. But here we can see that generally uh, those profilins which are in pollen, like flip 12 and in betula uh, in birch pollen, highly cross-reactive with those profilins which can be found in food. So they are generally very much cross-reactive uh, cross between each other. Uh, so really people who have uh, sensitivity to profilins with 60, 57 uh, and 66 percent um, probability uh, also will react to uh, other profilins in other sources, at least in Ukrainian population. But uh, the second important allergen, which can emphasize symptoms of uh, this uh, uh, cross-reactivity of ragweed and uh, other food, is of course mugwort. First of all, because uh, ragweed season coincides with mugwort one, and uh, mugwort and um, um, ragweed have uh, some molecules, which are again uh, shown here, which are the same and which are cross-reactive. Again, this is uh, ragweed in Ukraine and this is mugwort. Not uh, much impressive as ragweed, for example, but still uh, it is long and uh, they are overlapping. And uh, in uh, mugwort, we have this defensin-like protein, which is also present in uh, um, ambrosia, ambrosia HA4 allergen, uh, and they are cross-reactive uh, with ambrosia by this molecule. Another molecule, uh, which also causes cross-reactivity, is um, Artemisia ArtV3 molecule, but this is molecule of NSLTP. This is the second candidate to cause uh, pollen food syndrome together with ambrosia, but we will see now uh, there are specifics. Profilin, again, which is present, which is cross-reactive with ambrosia profilin, and which enhances impact of uh, if people are sensitive to profilins in ragweed, they also can be sensitive in profilins in, in uh, mugwort, and this can be enhanced, the symptoms can be enhanced. 
And uh, the last one, epictate layers, which are cross-reactive with the key allergen of ambrosia, uh, which is also epictate layers. And here you see an LSTP family cross-reactive uh, allergens. And again, we see uh, ragweed and mugwort here. But usually an LSTP uh, syndrome um, caused by food, the primary eliciter in contrast with profilins is not pollen, but food, but um, plant uh, fruits. And uh, especially, for example, peach. And there are many uh, fruits of grapes family, of rose family, mostly of rose family. Uh, because the, their structure of between one and uh, allergens of the same group of the uh, rose family fruits are very similar. Also citrus family, uh, walnut family, pea family, and other um, families of fruits can have these analstipes, which cause uh, cross-reactivity with pollen. Uh, and uh, as I already said, in this case, peach is considered, uh, but uh, still um, ragweed is present here. Uh, in some populations, Prupo3 is a primary and sole sensitizing allergen, but many are polysensitized, both to botanically unrelated NLSTPs in food and non food sources on NLSTPs such as cannabis sativa, Platanus uh, acerifolia, Ambrosia artemisifolia, as we are speaking, and Artemisia vulgaris. So they enhance each other. And initially, it was considered that NLSTP sensitization common for Mediterranean area, but now there are evidences that it can be found in other areas of the world. And for example, this year we won a Yaki poster prize because we showed that uh, sensitization in Ukraine to NLSTP comes from Kiwi. And this is really very fast uh, time. And I emphasize it and I showed this for all interest in yaki doctors, that this is a very big discovery that kiwi can cause uh, NLSTP and it, uh, clinically relevant, uh, the person really reacts the worst um, on the kiwi, but there is no any pollen. This guy, for example, who was sensitive to kiwi, they in practice has no any pollen sensitization, only to NLSTPs of different foods, including, for example, Helianthus anus, which is also relative of ambrosia, but no ambrosia pollen here. And this is also supported by big data, which we have about NLSTPs from the primary, from the first Alex um, data set of more than 8,000 of patients, because we found high levels of cross sensitization, cross um, uh, reactivity only among food allergens. Here are, uh, it was molecule of NLSTP in uh, mugwort available in parietaria, but cross reactivity because between pollen and uh, fruit allergens in case of NLSTP syndrome is not very high. So we consider that profilins are key candidates which cause uh, cross-reactivity of ragweed pollen, mugwort pollen with food. Um, so the chance, uh, if you are sensitive to profilins, so your chance to be sensitive also to food is higher than, for example, if you are sensitive to NLSTP. If you are sensitive to NLSTP, you are most likely will be sensitive to other food, but not and less likely to pollen. This is the idea. But this is not the end of the story. This is the infographics uh, which represents the interrelation between Aster family and interesting phenomena, which doctors also observe uh, in Ukraine, and I'm sure that it is observed elsewhere in the world, uh, that um, uh, plant raw material, herbal raw material of medicinal plants, while it is consumed like tea, for example, or when it is consumed like herbal remedy, also can, can cause allergy instead of treatening. And we have common story oral allergy syndrome between in people who um, uh, drinking chamomile tea. 
And uh, you saw in the previous tables that association called mugwort chamomilla, but in practice, doctors say that rugged uh, allergenic people, uh, those who have symptoms during this period where both rugged and mugwort present, they are also as usually sensitive to chamomilla. And they're usually sensitive to the honey, which is taken from the um, flowering plants at the period uh, of uh, when weeds are in flower and uh, we um, in my website when i where i am the chief editor of the site all about allergy and we are doing such infographics and, and those infographics which you see all of them are shared but in ukrainian among ukrainian population we are teaching them and also we did this infographic to teach people to don't consume those uh, plant raw material which can cause allergy. And also doctors are very much interested in asking us because there are many cases in doctor practice when um, their patients are uh, treating themselves by some uh, herbal material. They think that this herbal material should help them, but instead these people have symptoms. And people apply to us asking why, why it could be because of in terms of botany, we should understand interrelations between the plants. And uh, we placed uh, uh, three uh, clinically relevant uh, uh, strata family has a couple of subfamilies, nine, and three of them are clinically relevant. Sicori uh, family, which have allergens similar to BETV1 and NLSTP proteins. And it can be Sicorium, Dandelion, and Lettuce. Lettuce is eaten, Sicorium uh, root, I don't know, as it is in your countries, in our country, it is uh, drunk instead of coffee. Uh, dandelion sometimes, but very rarely, people use in salads also can be cross reactions with uh, in those people who have uh, pollen allergy to um, ragweed and mugwort. Thistle subfamily, uh, uh, there are centauria, milk tister, artichokes, silibum. This all, uh, my old story started from silibum plant because there were doctors who complained that they are um, patient was treated itself herself by silibum and had the symptoms. Artichoke is here, and we have allergy to artichoke in people, in children even, who are allergic to ragweed, and usually it is oral allergy syndrome, and this is observed, so uh, this factor also should be considered. Uh, Bardock, which is used for uh, treatment for cosmetology, uh, cornflower, which is used in teas, um, there are also star tistle, knapwits, uh, they all are in centauria group. And some, some flower super tribe, uh, which, include, which is included in Astrid subfamily. Here we have ragweed, sunflower, Jerusalem artichoke, uh, feverfew, cornflower, three lobe, uh, uh, pin and tripartite, uh, cochlebar. Um, what else is um, most of them, which I put here, are important. And uh, early campaign, for example, inulin, inula helenium. Uh, people uh, very often uh, try to use them because it is modern uh, to use these herbal remedies, but uh, not many people know that uh, they can be allergic to all of this. And here in this group, major allergen is Artemisia, uh, no Artemisia, Ambrosia, uh, Ambrosia A1, by the way, this is and now I see that this is a mistake. Here, Aster Supertrip, Asteroida, this is Magwort uh, subfamily, Yarrow. And also some cross reactivity can be seen. And major allergens here is RTV1 and RTV2. And due to presence of RTV2, these plants might be cross reactive with Cicori, uh, Cicori subfamily. And here is the ragwort super trip, uh, Tusilago, uh, ragworts, uh, and uh, groundus, which also can cause reactions. But exact proteins are not known for this family. Here uh, should be Ambrosia A1. Ambrosia A1. Now this is my uh, my uh, designer did mistake. Sorry. Here is Ambrosia A1, the key allergen. And 
uh, almost end, we are almost finishing, uh, also important to consider cross-reactivity between pectate layers. This is not has relation to um, food uh, and uh, uh, ambrosia, but clinically we see, and this year especially, uh, we were reported that people who have allergy to Cypress family plants, especially in the area of uh, forest zone, uh, also started to react, uh, started to have symptoms during ambrosia uh, pollen because of cross-reactivity. And homology of pectate layers, as it is now known, um, of ambrosia and cypressaceae and artemisia also, uh, can reach up to 50%. So we really can expect some symptoms in people who are sensitive to ambrosia uh, during cypressaceae pollen season and vice versa. And uh, this is the last slide. Uh, this is the very last, uh, which we did just this. Uh, this is like optional. This is like just um, to enhance your interest to ambrosia, to other areas of studying to ambrosia. This is what we did just three days ago. We found that sensitivity to pectate leases, grass, cat, and fungal allergens may be associated to. And we are working on this article. And uh, this is another story at all. And I encourage you to study ambrosia to uh, understand that everything is nature and cross-related and consider this all to be very much precise and to understand what happens around. This is time to end and send an acknowledgement to Natalia, who did for me many of infographics, but now I am not sending her acknowledgement because she did one mistake. But sorry for that and thank you for your attention.